The name is Uduak Akman, and um, of course I'm here again uh, just to quickly talk about um, some things. Looking at 2020, 2020 came in, well, you know, with its own challenges. Even though at the beginning there were some prophecies that um, some of us could not really comprehend, or some of us didn't really believe. You know, Head Tony Rappo talked about the fact that 2020 is going to be a challenging year. That those that remain in God are the ones that will succeed. But by the way mentioned uh, the fact that the year is going to be like a convulsing uh, baby you know what that means uh struggling to survive and that's just but the point is if you look at the whole scenario that played out i was currently still playing you know second wave of uh, covid a lot of messages being pumped into the media fear in the heart of a lot of people fear of unknown uncertainties people not wanting to move around just because of um, what we have heard vaccines coming in and all those but the point is uh, you know if you look at your life you look at uh, where you are where you were where you were where where you think you should have been you know sometimes sometimes you have some little prayer prayers we said you know um, in court that might not have been answered and the point is you know god has kept us alive a lot of people um lost their lives not because god didn't care about them not because uh, they, some of them didn't know god or or, or or god is not faithful but the point is um what i want to encourage us and implore us is to forget about um 2020 even as it's being wrapped up and the, the truth is if i tell you happy new year i think I, I, it's going to be appropriate if you if i was in new zealand or if i was in um, samoa then definitely happy new year will be so much appropriate and the point is if you tell me happy new year in another five four six seven twelve hours we are still going to be of course appropriate it's not just about the time let's not fuse about the time what is important is what god wants to do in our lives in 20 21 so it's high time we begin to you know move on from what happened in 2020 and begin to open our hearts so that we can begin to develop understanding you know looking at god for what is going to happen in 2021 you know in 2021 a lot of people 2020 rather a lot of people had so many reasons to cry so many reasons to will so many reasons to think that god is not faithful the same thing i'm um, uh, 2020 2021 2021 too will, is going to come with its own peculiar you know challenges or challenge as it might apply to individuals you know in um, families nations and um, different environments you know across the globe but the point is that there's something that will really single each and every one of us out and that is what i want to talk about um quickly today let's look at psalm 112 i'm going to read verse 1 to 3 psalm 112 verse 1 to 3 i'll quickly read from here it says praise ye the lord blessed is the man that feareth the lord that delighted greatly in his commandments his seed shall be mighty upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. If you look at the condition, you know, for this, for the verse, we're talking about wealth and riches. Verse we're talking about is sitting mighty upon the earth. Is you know, if you want to underline on your in your Bible, the fear of the Lord. Now there's something about the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord brings, you know. Um, open up our us to intentionally living for God. When the fear of God is present and paramount in your life, your decisions will be taken based on what will please God in your life. The same way, if you look at your foundation in life or what you have decided to do in life is is to fear God, then definitely it will influence even your moral behavior across the environment. And one thing God told me, God told me that for those that are going to intentionally live for Him, then they would definitely, you know, stand out in this time and an and environment. So 2021 is going to be a year that will come with its own challenges. But the point is, for those that will intentionally live their lives for God, they will stand out in 2021. Um, don't forget that the stage we are, people are not even sure 
some people are waiting for government to develop policies that will favor them but the point is when government talking about responsible government developing policies the policies of course they will look at the whole entire nations you know as a whole the all everybody but the point is there is no single government there is no once a single government policy that will favor the people 100 percent so policies will come will lift some people up and at the same time will push people down 2020 people lost their jobs and was it because they were in wrong places or something like that was it because they were in wrong organizations because the point is what came in 2020 came with its own peculiarities and challenges and now pushed a lot of organizations that were already positioned to take advantage of what was coming in it was like an opportunity the same time to push some people down because based on where they were positioned so the fear of god will position you consistently for his blessing you know god said to abraham he said by these two immutable things which is impossible for god to lie god swore by his word and swore by his name now the fear of god is what will guarantee you and put you in the place of the word of god and one thing is that the word of god can never fail everything will go the earth will pass everything will vanish but the word of god will remain and until it has accomplished that way the lord has sent it forth it will never go so the point is when you bring yourself you know to building your life you know the new phase 2021 on the foundation which is the word of god then success is guaranteed because the word of god cannot fail and that is that's why i'm going to tell you that you need to rightly position yourself in the place where god will put you now the guarantee is in where you have chosen to fear god now god has preserved us by his mercy we are here and the point is we will keep we will keep putting our faith and our hope in the finished work of christ which is the major thing that will open the door you know to you being retentive and being you know appreciative of what god will do people have have seen people where they begin to take you know the word of god as like pills you know just like they prescribe in where in this part, part of the world malaria is, is is what we have here so you know prescribe the word of god to you just like giving you malaria pills that morning afternoon night or whatever uh, once daily you know like they will they, they'll put it so they, they begin to prescribe the word of god and begin to take it day in day out and you see that their life is constantly you know on the going up not not like going down and that's what i'm going to tell you that when you put your hope your life your trust you know intentionally not by chance not like i don't know what's going to happen to me today i don't know what's going to happen to me tomorrow some people dress up go out they don't they can't really really tell that this is what's going to happen to me at the end of the year just because of what the new face you know this uh, what is happening around the world has pushed us even into so people now begin to live their lives what direction are we going but the point is that the word of god is like the light that will help you navigate you know even in darkness when your life is based on what your mind can give to you when your life is based on what the government can give to you when your life is based on chance then definitely you are not far from darkness because only the word of god is like light bible says the word of god is a light unto my feet and a lamp unto my path so it's that same word that will guide your step all the way so 2021 will be a guaranteed year for success for you in everything talking about wealth and riches talking about divine health talking about you know um sanity your mind your environment you know people even people around you being sane and policies that government will establish to favor you is when you put your eyes your life everything you have and your trust in the word of god faith is the word of god said it i'm going to believe it even if it's not logical like i said before salvation is very paramount when your life is in god through jesus christ 
then the work of the word of God can readily uh, work for you. Don't forget that salvation is a message to the soul, telling the soul that your what the spirit has been yearning for is returning back to God. Everybody, I was saying in Romans 3:23 that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means the glory, there's still the iota of little light that, that man will always you know seek for. That's why you see people drink, people take drugs because there's something they are yearning for. People think that making more money is what will actually give them joy. But the point is that the more money they make, the more sorrowful or depressed they become. That's because their spirit is yearning to return back to God. So that's where salvation comes in. Putting our hope, our trust and everything, our life, even in Christ. And that is the guarantee that success will be ours in 2021. If this has blessed you, please and it's your first time on speaking peace channel please do not forget to share you know god has constant constantly and been speaking true and true and to us and i know that this year as we move to 2021 i declare that you will live a successful and a gl glorious life god bless you real good the name is Udwak Akman once again and you can also call me both see you at the top i declare that your life will shine and you will be a light even to a lot of people in your environment thank you so much